Well, what are we fixing today? Today I have a honeydew. And it involves the creepy, my creepy basement, let's just say. Uh, we're going to work down here, which means we're going to do a project and we're going to do some cleaning. Well, not so much cleaning today, but I got an idea to do something. So, we're, every time, something, 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 right? A little bit of time, take little bites, pretty soon it's all better. So, today, um, well, let's just say I remodeled my kitchen it's probably 30 years ago, I'm thinking. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, it still looks okay. It's wood finishes. You know, I like it. I'm not going to remodel it. But, I gotta say, <sighs> that the, the, the materials I picked out weren't great. I bought some pre-made cabinet sections and mounted them in there like I would when I was, you know, 30. Um, it seemed to work. It's working pretty good. It's not wearing well long term. It's not like the high-end cabinets that you'd buy, you know, spend thousands of dollars on. These were cheap things from, it wasn't Home Depot, but um, it was one of the companies that went out of business. So, you know, that's the way it goes. So, let's get on with that, huh? Let's, let's fix this thing. We've got to fix something, all right? Let's, 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 this is, this is what we're fixing today. Okay. Get you close up here. This is what my cabinets look like. You know, somewhere, but I like that nice cherry finish. Goes good to the cabinets. These are kind of dirty and stuff. But the problem here is, and I've had to do this with one drawer before, is the quality of the... I mean, there was a dovetail in there. Ish. And it's sort of holding on this side. Ish. But... When you open the drawer, you get problems. So I'm gonna fix this. All right, here's the drawer. Here's the problem. It's all kind of yuckled out in here. Now this was meant to go in here and be glued in in here. And I think I've re-glued this once, I can tell. But I'm gonna just start by putting some glue in there and tapping this all back together as step one. So, we're going to use urethane glue. This stuff gets everywhere. Now, my bottle here is a little old and a little cold, but this stuff is, uh, is a monster, actually. And if you really, really, really want it to hold and never come off again, you get some of their Gorilla Wood Glue and you mix it. Start with this. Yeah, you're supposed to just sit there, you know, like hang in there.
put this back on. I'm going to stick it in the vise tipped up. Use a screw to do a little mixing in here. Mix it two kinds of glue. Can't see what I'm doing. Tap it in place. Let's work. See what I'm working, I guess, just barely. towards the bottom because that's where that part of it is. Good and tight. Good and tight. Use my German voice to say that. I am part German, so I can say that. Good and tight. Actual German, but I'm part German. Right. So that will actually kind of fix it. Right. But I want to fix it, fix it. So, what I have here is a piece of clear pine. This was from a Expensive door, a door that was original to the house. You could see it's from the top of the door because we had a, a wind cham that would hang down, a door chime, right? But we ended up cutting off this door for some reason. Um, but I kept it because, well, let's face it, power <coughs> order. But besides that, it's a nice piece of clear pine. So I'm like, hmm, do I need to cut that off? That one's pretty solid. This one wiggles. What's wiggling though? That part's wiggling. That part's not. So I think I'm just gonna cut it off here and then here. And then I'm gonna glue this in in the front here. It's gonna take up some room, but I can then Put some nails in from the side from here. Put some glue in, nail in from there. Eh, you know what? Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're doing that. So I'm gonna cut it off here, get the length, cut it off here, here and here, and then this is going in there. Okay, first thing I gotta do is set the saw. I just set the saw so it'll cut through all that. You don't want it to come too far through. More danger, danger, right? This ain't the greatest, sharpest blade either anymore. It's meant for crosscut though, so that should be good. Oh, hello. All right, I said I was gonna take the side that had the loose. Yeah, this is the side with the loose. Let's cut that off first. And here, as you in the way, no, you're not in the way. So this way. Should be a good spot. Plus collector.
everywhere and the bags are full. Why is that? Oh, the bottom bag came off. All right, gotta get this out of the way. Here's where the dust goes, and it kind of falls into the bottom bag. Well, the bottom bag fell off, which means all the dust that was in the hose, everything just made a big dust of the house mess. But this doesn't like to sit on here very well. It's got a screwy strap system, and you got to kind of hold everything, everywhere, all at once. Okay, this is the easiest it's ever gone for me. We'll see if it stays. Turn on dust collector. Well, that's what it's supposed to do. Okay, back to this. Cut it off right there. And I'm going to measure it and I'm going to cut it off over here somewhere. That's what we sharpened last time. I think I'm going to rip it down because that's too much. I'm going to put this in here. This is a short drawer anyway. This is just going to fill up too much of the drawer, I think. I'm going to cut this basically into a square, two by two. About an inch. Now the way I set my saw, since I, it's an old crappy saw, right? Can you see what I'm doing? Sort of. I'll take, make sure this is folded back so I'm straight. I look here and measure between here and here, because that's what's going to be cut, right? So there's about an inch there. Then I measure back to our reference point, which in this case is this, this side of this line. And I get two and three quarters, or three and three quarters. So I come over here and measure that to be three and three quarters. And then to make sure it don't pinch, I make this three and three quarters plus a sixteenth. Hold 
put down. Tight. Check it again. Inch ish. And that's that. Now, since I can't like push through with my hands here, that would be kind of bad. Still okay, all right? All right. I am going to use this to hold. See what I'm doing? Yep. Use this to hold it. So back away from the blade. Hold it there. Hold it the notch here. Okay, back at the bench. As you can see, see how this stuff is getting foamy in there? Foamy out here, that's the urethane part of it, doing its thing. Fills up all the gaps, gives you a really good grab. And the wood glue makes it even harder. So, I'm gonna take this and kind of cut some of that off when it's still in the goop stage. Like it's hard, it's hard to do. That's kind of like it's in this rubber stage. How's this fit now? A little bump weight going on there, which I don't like. So, well, I think I'm going to take this on the saw and just cut a little bit out of there. I don't care what the exact angle is, I just need it moved. All right. I can see the blade is at an angle towards you. I'm going to take this and run it through right about there. Make sure this is up high enough. I'm going to move here on this side. One and seven eighths. One and seven eighths. No, I can't get that far because there's a thing in the way. All right. Well, okay. What do we got here? One and three quarter. Three quarter, and I'll let's see which way is it going to pinch. Sixteenth less than one and three quarter. Three quarter. Sixteenth less than one. take a bite out of it this time. I want the wide side and I want this out so I want this back. So this is square. I wonder if I did this. No. Stick with the plan. Stick with the plan.
see how it fits. Like a glove. All right. Like a glove. Oh, the shmoo. Look how gooey that stuff is. This is like solid. A chunk of it. Get that out of there. stuff will be under this one too Everything dripping everywhere all at once. Wow. How many times can I use that in the video? Garbage. Garbage. Duck. Oop. Urethane glue in there, that's going to fill up the gaps. And with the notches we cut in there, we made some gaps, right? So, there, like that. Put this one back to bed because there's like a quarter inch in there. So, uh, what kind of glue should I get for wood? Have you guys used the urethane stuff? Or you just use a wood glue? What do you use? I like how, you know, if you look close, see how it's mixing in there? It makes it really strong. You can see the brown mixing with the white. I really like that. Go. This one I'll leave on. No nails out the front, so we're good. A couple more nails. Awesome, right? And if you're not certain if the nails are going in, Take a piece of wood that's smaller than the other one. Ooh, that's oak even. Let's see. Nail it into a piece of oak. There we go. What's this nail want the space? Where does it go? That's how long the nail goes. Bang, bang. So remember the other day, 
I'll go through my pile of hoopty doos I found this thing, right? I think I want to put this right here. So that, like, you know, I can keep, like, one pair of whatever right in front here. And make it a little easier than digging on the pegboard, huh? All I need for that is two screws and something to put them in with. Here's an oldie but a goodie. Great, great safety on the cord there. I don't even know if this reverses. Probably don't. No. Only forward. You only have to go forward, right? Let's uh, do that. <coughs> Find a couple screws. New screws today since that's what I'm looking at. Let's put these in. Do I have to level it? No, because I don't think this is level. And I need it straight to that. And I'm going to bring it up a little bit. This, this is the other thing is sometimes stuff falls off of here right so I'm gonna bring it so that it's up a little bit so that there's a little lip here and that way the stuff won't fall off so it's going to be doing two jobs let's see oh That's a good drill. Some power there, baby. Head stripping at the end never hurt anybody. There. I like that. Let's put some stuff in there. Pair of pliers. Pair of dikes. What else? Oh, Phillips. Not regular. on a regular and I don't know we'll find other things <laughs> what do you think? you can find things? I don't know what you find here because <coughs> order? did I say order? no Ooh, what can you see through that? Not much. All right. That's what I think. Well, I think that's it for today, folks. We got a honey brew project off the list, and we got a little bit, a little bit, a little bite. Of course, I made a huge mess on the counter, so I'm not gonna clean all that up. <laughs> so I'm not gonna bore you with that one, but got to be done right all right so have any suggestions on glue send me a net message i'd love to see it otherwise you know that gorilla stuff is uh, what i like that bottle's probably three years old so can't blame the bottle um it might be even more it's probably about six years old anyway i think i'm gonna get more of that unless i hear something better so thanks for watching until next time See you later.